Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I'm going to be reading more of our book, Population Control Through Nuclear Pollution, but I'm going to post a quick video about something I saw on uh, ENE News today that uh, I think has been up there yesterday, and I actually didn't have a chance to read it. It was talking about they finally admitted at Fukushima that it's going to take up to 200 years. So if we apply the 90% rule to that, what the fuck does that tell us? Even if you want to round it up to 80, like, they know that it's going to be at least 2,000 years before we know what the fuck to do with this shit. And they're just asking, they're just talking about the nuclear pollution pouring into the Pacific Ocean. We don't have any idea where it went. We don't know where it is. And, uh, gee, it's a really bad problem. It's way worse than we ever thought. Thanks a lot, you stupid fucks, for admitting it right now. And the world is not jumping up and down. Well, we may have to have a sarcophagus like we did in Chernobyl. Well, Chernobyl's not working out too great either. You know, theirs is collapsing. They had to put a new one on. It's still having trouble. This fucking shit is horrible. And for the nuclear cartel to just pretend like, no problem, we'll all be fine, is bullshit. In fact, they won't be fine if they don't fucking stop it. That's the thing, is their arrogance is going to extinct even their families. The little tiny 1% of 1% who think the fuck that they can get away. And, oh, no, 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 unless you're going to fly away in spaceships with somebody that you don't even fucking know who's been telling you what the fuck to do, they'll slice you up and eat you up. The fucking insanity of what is going on. I mean, and people are like, wow, it's really bad. It's really, really bad over there now. And hmm, all the fish and all the animals are dying and 15 whales and thousands of seals and no, sh you know, no, no shellfish. And like, what the fuck? I mean, honestly... It's beyond comprehension that people are just reading this as news and still sitting on their ass. Well, I'm two minutes in. I'm going to end. I want to read from our book. But I will tell you what. This, my activism is real. It's very real. It's affected my family life. I don't get to see my family on holidays. You know why? Because of this. My daughter doesn't want me talking about it or thinking about it. We live in Oregon and it's raining. If I was at her house today, do you know what she'd be saying? No problem going outside playing in the rain, kids. Now, I've been trained not to say anything, but do you think I can? No, it makes everybody uncomfortable. So I don't go. I'm not invited on holidays. They love me. They like to see me, but they don't like me wrecking their holidays because... I mean, she's a vegan. At least they eat organic food. That's great. The kids are healthy. You know, they're all breastfed. They were healthy kids. But uh, we live in Oregon, and she's let them play out in the rain. So it does affect my relationship. And the reason I'm on here is because I love them. Because even if she doesn't understand how serious this is, and as adults, it's up to us to demand that these fuckers stop lying, the scientists have got to stop fucking agreeing because they're getting paid. The scientists, Dr. Helen Caldecott needs to come out and be vociferous once again against Fukushima. It is fucking out of control. The one, two, three, they don't even know where the corium is, which means it's out in the fucking the middle world. It's, you know, heading down to the, uh, you know, billions. Yeah, I get it. The ocean has billions and billions of gallons and it's relatively small radiation, but that's not how radiation or fission works. It's going to explode and take over the whole fucking ocean. It's out of fucking control. I'm going to end here, and I'm going to read my book, you guys. And, uh, you know, I just hope that my reading this book and my little bits here and Kevin's yelling and screaming and ranting and raving and Ackerman's philosophizing, you know, and, you know, the fabulous work that Eric Jordan's done on our website, all of that moves people to get up and get active and Demand an end to nuclear. Start protesting. Say, no, we're not buying your bullshit. It's not a mystery. It's not a mystery. It's radiation. It's not a mystery. These are not mystery diseases. We need these animals tested for radionuclear activity. That's what I think. 
Ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on. Talk to you soon.